everyone welcome back today we are going to discuss on data analytics in excel and this is madhushri so today topics are index match unique if count if sum if and average so now first let us understand what is indexes so index normally you know it returns a value of the table based on the intersection of rows and the columns so now this is intersection this is a row and this is a column so intersection of row and column we call it as a cell suppose i want to know what is the index of this e that that means the cell so column number and row number so this becomes e1 so that is a meaning of index and it is a built in function in excel so the syntax is given here so you have to write the table row number and column number and remember index is uh, works only with respect to that particular table based on the column and the cell position now let us understand practically how index works so just i'll type equals because in excel everything formula starts with equals so i'll type index so index function so which index i want to find for example i want to find uh, the index of this particular thing so first syntax says you pass the array then comma row number or the column number so here i can directly type i want to know the index of 5 means it will display 1 2 3 4 5 that is laptop or if i have specified any row number here i can click on that column for example so if i have written uh, 4 here so i can represent that number so for example i'll write 4 or i can okay i'll write 4 then close it so what is there in the index number 4 it will display that see 1 2 3 4 that is tab or another method is uh, already if you have written 5 here and i just want to uh, find out the index of this so if you write 4 it is it will become static it will keep on displaying that only so instead of 4 here so what i'll do is here so i'll click on this i uh, mean row cell number so then i'll press enter see laptop the moment when i change this keeps on changing automatically so if you try directly type it as a number as 4 or 5 it will become static so this is about index so you can find the index of any of uh, the rows or the columns so next is a match function so match function searches for specific item of a cells and it will return what is the index of that that means uh, when you want to look into particular thing that you keep something based on that uh, id you are going to check for example when you look some phone numbers in telephone book then we use the person name as the value based on the name of the first person we will try to uh, check the phone number here also keeping on some uh, sales value or skipping on some product we are going to check what it is, what is the match item it will return the match value it is it will return the value so let us see how it works So now, if you want to work with match, so I'll just click on this uh, column here. Equals match. So match match function. So what match access? Which value I want to match? I want to find out the match of this product that is tab. From where I want to match? It is a lookup value. I am looking for tab and the array. So where is the tab present? Present in this array. So I'll going to select the complete number. then it has match type see less than exact match greater than so i want exact match so i am giving zero here okay zero means exact match one means less than that match value greater than is minus one so depending on that value so i want exact match so i am keeping keeping on this and if i enter it will say four so where is the tab present in which particular index 1 2 3 4 it returns 4 so index means if i give the row number it will return what is the item or the category or the product present so match means if i give the product it will show in which column it is present so that is the difference between index and the match next a unique uh, function uh, unique is again a built in function that is present in the excel and you can uh, easily find out unique means if you have uh, any redundant value uh, in your table if you give this function it will display 
those uh, particular values or the range that is present in the list of values that you have given exactly once that is what it is given you pass the array you pass the column it will display the data exactly once in order to avoid duplications or the redundancy we use unique function so let us explore and see in excel so unique function so here just i need to type unique so here in my system uh, unique is not supported so it is not showing so if you select this uh, subcategory here i am sub selecting all the subcategory just you have to click enter since the function is not supported it is not displaying otherwise it will display uh, the output as table then chair chair and then tech since the tech is repeated so many times that values will be removed uh, next is if uh, if so function so previous video we have seen what is if so if means it checks uh, works like a uh, nested if condition that uh, if means it is a simple if so if you use ifs then uh, it takes uh, two or three conditions like i have given days of the week here and the day number 3 so it will take this day number 3 and check which day it is it is tuesday so it will display tuesday so syntax is given here or already you know what is the syntax of if if the condition is true based on the logical test it will return the value so again if function so i click here and type if a3 so a3 is nothing but uh, the column number i have taken a3 is bangalore if the that is bangalore or mysore so change it to agra or kerala if it is bangalore it will be changed to agra if the condition is true if the condition is false it will change to kerala so again it is not supported in this uh, system so you can try it so you'll get the output uh, so next is count if uh, function count if means it will count uh, uh, the across the cells what how many uh, mean number of items are there or profits are there or sales count based on the given criteria again if it works as a nested if it will count ifs means two or two or three criteria so here i have taken criteria based on the sales count so how many sales has been done uh, right now so what is the total sales that is done based on the quantity 5 so this is one condition this is another condition based on that it will give the output so here count if so just i'll type equals count if okay since i am using count if count if so i have taken the sales so that is the array that i am passing sales that is greater than greater than 30 okay then close the bracket then close this is so this is a formula so count if it will count the sales total uh, whatever the sales that we have run greater than 30 it will calculate only the sales which are greater than 30 and it will return how many sales uh, have we done greater than 30 so that is 4 so 4 are greater than 30 greater than 30 means here so 29.6 is not considered so 1 2 3 4 so next is sum of it is one of the mathematical and trigonometrical function that adds all the criteria and it just sum of based on the criteria so here again i have given add uh, the sales that greater than 30 so it will just add count means just it will count the total sales which is greater than 30 here it will just add and give and it gives us the results so let us see that so next is uh, sum if so here i am typing sum if equals sum if okay sum if function so what i want to sum all the sales versus what are the categories or i can take product or categories so i am taking categories so that are um, that are greater than 2000 then close the bracket so what i am doing just sum which is greater than 2000 since no value is greater than 2000 so it is showing zero uh, so last function is average if so average if returns uh, the arithmetic mean that is average of all the columns or the cell numbers based on the criteria that you have given it may be an array or names or any reference 
so based on that reference it will give the average so here i have taken what is the average profit of this entire cell so it is given the output as this is the average now let us see what uh, average function so i'll just type uh, come to any cells equals average if so here we're going to demonstrate average ifs so i am taking average if so what average i want to find out i want to find out the average sales versus quantity so now just i want to find out what is the average sales of quantity that we have sold six so here uh, this particular canon and apple sales is uh, canon sales is 29 and apple is 1000 and the quantities are six so those uh, two categories average i want to find that means 29.6 plus thousand divided by that it will so just if i say average is 40. so here i have taken average if two two means uh, the quantity two is only ikea and then 262 average of that is 262 itself so it has displayed 262 so like this you can find out the average uh, if that means average of average if means one particular column here we are considering two columns average based on this quantity in six we have two so it has found out average of canon and apple together and it has given two means only one we have so average will be 262 itself okay. yeah that's all for today uh, thank you for watching uh, please do like share and subscribe the video if it is fine found helpful and please do comment in order to improvise thank you so much